Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to FTB Unstable. That's right, folks, we're back in our unstable world. We're doing some more modded Minecraft, and uh, <clears throat> we got lots of Batania stuff on store uh, in store for you today. Um, last episode, as you may recall, we were trying to make some Terra Steel. Um, <laughs> one, one of you actually pointed out in the comments that um, <clears throat> I don't need as much Terra Steel as I was thinking I was going to need. Um, I needed Terra Steel Nuggets, right? And I needed uh, I need three for each of the Natura pylons that I'm going to make, and then I need three for the uh, uh, the Elven Gateway Core. That's nine, right? You can get nine Nuggets from one ingot. And for some reason, I was thinking that I was needing two, and then I did some more looking. I was like, oh, crap, I need more. And so I ended up, I ended up thinking that I needed three. So I made, uh, I made, some, I made a couple more Terra Steel Nuggets. Uh, Terra steel nuggets or Terra steel ingots. I actually have three of them now. Um, I, I don't need that many. <laughs> I don't need that many at all. So we've got more Terra steel than what we need, which is which is fine because we'll we'll do something else with the Terra steel uh, eventually. But uh, let me show you what I have done in the off time. Some I ask about flowers, right? And some of you, there were a few of you that said uh, for for quick mana, uh, you, you want to use hydrangeas. Hydrangeas though they do die. Uh, after like three Minecraft days. I'm not sure if it's three now though because I, I'm sure I planted these before three days. It may be it may be four days but anyway they die after a few days and uh, but they do create a lot of mana really really fast okay it's I mean I these are these are just creating a, a good bit of mana okay. Um, of course, the Endo Flames; those are working pretty good. Uh, then there are a few of you also that uh, that said to to make uh, Gormerilus, uh, the ones that eat food, right? And I looked into that, and I would love to make those because those look like they would do amazing. But I don't have any watermelon. Uh, in order to make that flower, you have to have watermelon, and I haven't found a jungle yet. And so that's uh, that one's not going to work for me, at least not yet. Um, let's see, was there something else that I was missing? Uh, let's see here. Oh, wait, that's just, a, that's not the right flower. Oh, yeah, it is the right flower. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, you don't need watermelon for the flower. You need it for the rune of summer, and I don't have it. Uh, everything else I've got, but if I could find some melons, then I could, uh, then I could make those runes of summer and be able to make the, the Gormerilis. But uh, for right now, we're just going to go ahead and do Endo Flames. We got Endo Flames feeding into the uh, the two mana pools. We're going to put the Natura, or the, not the Natura, but the uh, Elven Core, the Alfheim Gateway, the Alfheim Portal. We're going to put that right up here. Okay. Uh, what else did I do in the uh, in the meantime? Oh, I, I I've been running a been running a quarry, and it's been getting a few things out of it. Um, it, it's kind of interesting. In this, you don't get the cobblestone or the andesite or the diorite or anything like that. You just get the ores, right? You just get the you know the iron and the diamonds and all that, which is kind of cool because um, then you just you don't end up with a bunch of blocks that you don't necessarily need. But yeah, today we're gonna finish up this Alfheim core, or this Alfheim portal. Um, now to make the Alfheim portal, uh, there's a few things that we got to finish up. So number one, we actually have to take. Uh, where did they go? No, really, where did they go? Why are they not showing? Oh, I know why they're not showing up, because you can slide, it's got a slider on it now. Uh, yeah, so we need to take these two mana pylons and make them into Natura pylons. And to make Natura pylons, let's see here, what do we have to do? Uh, let's see here, we want the Alfheim portal. Um... Okay, so Natura pylons are an Ender Eye and three Terra Steel Nuggets and two Mana pylons. So those are pretty simple, right? Let's grab what we need for those. We need two of those. We need two of those. And oh, we need one of we need one of those. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do this, and then go and do this, and get those like this, and do one, two, one, two, one, two. Then put these back. And put this back like so. And there's our two, uh, our two Natura pylons. And then the other thing that we needed to make was the Elven Gateway Core, right? Um, which is this thing? Yes. So that is uh, six living wood and three Terra Steel nuggets. So that's pretty simple. We can do that, right? There's that. And then there's that like so, right? 
Elven Gateway Core. Love it. And that, I think, I think that's all we need. Uh, I got my Natura pylons. I've already got the glimmering living wood or whatever that is. I've got my mana pools. So I need, what, three? Okay, let's see if we can't make this, let's see if we can't do this. So I've got the spot up here already wh uh, where I want it. Uh, and if so if I take and do, oh, I got more living wood in here. I need all of this. I must have all of the things. Okay, so so if I go, we got to come back this way. So it's one, two, three. Uh oh, nope, not there. Go. Mm hmm. Um, there's my hatchet. Go like this. So like that, right? And then, uh, mm hmm. Oh no, this is not. This is not this. This is not this. This is the gateway core. So this goes like this. Nope, not that. This. So that goes there, right? Okay. Don't need that in my hot bar right now. And let's see. So then it's up a living wood, and then the glimmering, and then a living wood. Okay. So yeah, that's that's pretty simple. We can do that. Uh, what do I have? I have this. So we can just do this like this. Put this, boom, like that, and boom, like that, and get the living wood back. And go like this. And like this, this, and like this. Hiya. Hiya. And then we need to make, um, let's see, we need to stair step up a little bit more so that we can see what we're doing. And we need a block like that, and then one like that, block like that, one like that. So let's come down. Uh, mm -hmm. Where in the world did my pickaxe go? I can never find anything in my inventory. I don't know why. I'm not. I'm not a very disorganized person, really. I don't think. Oh, that's not the right place. Grumble, grumble, grumble. There we go. Come back here. I want you. I need you. Uh, put that like that. Perfect. Then we can get rid of these blocks. Uh, yeah, get rid of this one, and get rid of this one, get rid of this one, and this one, right? Then we need to spot our two Natura pylons, like so. hi -ya. I think that's right. Now let's compare it to the picture. Where's my book? Visualize. I can't visualize it enough. Well, let's just do that. Yeah. So, yeah, that's right. Good. All right. Unvisualize. So that should that should do it, right? These are gonna get mana. Are they still getting mana? Yes, cool. So this is fine, this is fine. So this thing should be ready to rock and roll. So what we made this for, right? The next thing that we were gonna make is we were gonna make the crystal bow. Um, I think it's called a crystal bow. Um, but I need to get some diamonds, uh, which I think I've got some over here. I need to get some other stuff around. It's getting to be nighttime, so I'm going to sleep real quick. I'm going to gather up some gear, and then we're going to open up this porthole and see if we can't get the uh, the dragon stones that we need to, uh, to make that crystal bow. So sit tight, hang tight, be right back with you momentarily. Okay, so I think I've got everything I need. Now, the first thing that it says that we're supposed to do to light this thing is to actually click it with the... Uh, right click it with the wand of the forest so there it goes oh, oh and it works <gasps> look at that now it does say that uh, one thing that we should do is throw the book in there so let's throw the book in there and did it go through or did it what happened there did it work <gasps> it did work Ooh, cool cool Awesome. So now we've got the Elven Guard, or yeah, Elven Guard. 
Uh, so this so this is a message from the Elven Guard. Greetings. We noticed that our portal was open via a link from another world. That's rather shocking news indeed. We thank you very much for providing us with a repository of the knowledge from your world as to keep us up to date to what happened since we left. It's been a while uh, since then. It's good to see it's doing well. Awesome. After some discussion with, high, with the High Council of the Elven Guard, we have decided to cooperate with you. You see, reading through your lexica Britannia has shown us a good amount of resources from your world that we would extremely keen that would be extremely keen to get our hands on, as these are non-existent in our lands. The link you have managed to establish is rather weak. No living beings will be able to go through, as you already know. However, there are there's a positive side to this. The link strikes fabric of the of time of both our worlds in a way where it doesn't keep them in sync. That's the reason why you received your book back so quickly. Uh huh. When it comes to mana and other magical energies, we are plenty st we are plenty stocked on them. So worry not about our portal closing on our end. Let's let's put this into perspective in prospect. In order for the advance of both of our civilizations, we vow to accept a given set of resources from your world we lack in ours in exchange for resources you lack in yours. Aha. We have taken the liberty of assigning your our best scribes to put together a great set of knowledge from our world we're willing to share. You, could, you can find it in your lexicon, uh, lexicon, just as you would find knowledge from yours. We hope you find it enlightening and that it encourages you to invest in our materials. Sweet. Last but not least, do, not, uh, do keep in mind that if you decide to send something we have not vouched for trade, we will assume it as a gift and keep it as for ourselves. Uh, just as a forewarning, we look forward to exchanging resources with you. Best regards, the High Council of the Elven Guard. Sweet. So now we got more information here. And the one thing that we're going to get, the one thing that we want to get for sure after we sleep, uh, is we want to get some of these dragon cores. And to get dragon cores, we have to pass them over diamonds. Uh, but it, has, it can't be just regular diamonds. It's got to be mana diamonds. So let's go ahead and make a couple of mana diamonds right here. So... Skadoosh, skadoosh. So there's a couple of mana diamonds. And if we throw these through the portal, now how's our, by the way, how is our uh, mana pool doing? Oh yeah, it's doing good. Yeah, it's doing good. So we just need to make sure that we keep enough mana in here to keep the portal open, and all should be well. But let's go ahead and throw one mana diamond, two mana diamond, sweet. Okay, so now we got these dragon cores, right? So if we come down here to the bottom, down here to our little enchanting, our, our little crafting area, we should have some mana string. Uh, why do I only see? There's, okay, so we should have some mana string, right? So mana string, mana string, mana string, dragon core, dragon core, twig, crystal bow, ha 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 ha, sweet ness. Now, in order for the crystal bow to work, we have to give it mana. Uh, and my mana tablet is empty, so let's go ahead and fill that up. Uh, change that to fill mode and throw that in there and let it fill up with mana. Um, let me, I'm going to go ahead and let that fill up with mana, and when I come back, we'll give it a try. We'll see what it can do, because uh, it's going to take a minute for that to fill up all the way. So hang tight. Okay, so I've been waiting for it to get dark, <clears throat> and it is dark now. Uh, the sun just went down, as you can see right there. So we should start getting mobs, and I want to see how much uh, how much damage this bow can do. So let's walk over. Oh, let's see if we can get this skeleton right here. How about that? So what it does is it uses mana. Oh yeah, get him. Oh darn it, get wrecked. Get wrecked. That worked. I don't know if I don't know if it gives. I, okay, so the question now becomes for me: Does it? Uh, can you can you enchant this? Can you make it stronger? Can you make it more um, more efficient on using mana? Because every time you shoot one of these arrows, uh, these these crystal bow uh, arrows, it uses mana from your mana tablet, right? And so I guess the question that I would have is: Do you run out of mana eventually? And yeah. Yeah, and one more. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Oh, we got a we got a heart out of him. Good. Okay, cool. So it t it takes three shots to kill a mob, right? I'm not sure. I really am 
real happy about that. Um, hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Three shots. So I guess the question becomes, can you enchant this thing? Uh, can you add can you add stuff to it and all that good stuff? Um, I'm going to take a look around and do a couple of things off camera. Remember, the, the objective here is we're trying to get ready to go to the stronghold. I want to be as efficient as possible against the... Uh... Oh, hey. hi yeah. Well, that only took two shots. That's good. I wonder if it's better if, it's cl if the mob is closer. Hello there, creeper. No? You're going to run away? Okay, fine. Be that way. So, anyway, I'm going to take a look around, do some other mob hunting and stuff, and I will be right back with you. Okay, so I've been out all night um, using the crystal bow, and it's it's pretty good. I mean, it is three shots to do, uh, to kill, like, uh, to kill like a, a creeper or a zombie, which is not very good. Um, you know, they're... I, want, I need to do more damage than that, and so I guess the, the thing to, to wonder about is how do you get this thing to do more damage? Uh, but the other thing I was looking at, and I, and I happened to notice this, if you look up coal in the NEI, or JEI, I guess it's called now, and you, and you go to the recipes for coal, you can actually double coal. So you can get one of these conjuration catalysts. And to get the conjuration catalyst, of course, you need some living rock, which is fine. You need an alchemy catalyst, which I have. And you need some pixie dust and some elementium ingots. Pixie dust, you just throw a mana pearl through. And the elementium ingot, you throw in a, uh, I think it's what, uh, two? Yeah, two mana steel ingots. So for six mana steel ingots and one mana pearl, I can get uh, a means of actually doubling up on coal which I would suspect if I do it right I should make it so that all of my mana production could become self-perpetuating I guess um, because I mean it, it should be pretty instantaneous right so what I want to do is I want to throw some stuff in here I want to get some mana ingots so one two three four five six and I need a mana pearl so I'm gonna have to go back over here to the base and get a pearl That'll give me an opportunity to clean out my inventory a little bit, too, because I don't need to carry this regular old wooden bow around with me anymore. Ha, 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 ha. I've got myself a uh, crystal bow from the elves, uh, so we'll get rid of that, and we'll get rid of all those arrows because we don't need those anymore. Uh, we do need a pearl. So pearl, let's get one of those like so. And... What we'll do is we'll get the in, we'll get the stuff today, and then next episode we'll we'll work out either I'll do it, I'll either do it in between episodes where I get everything set up to double the coal, or we'll we'll work it out together next episode. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's make ourselves a mana pearl here. Uh, mana pearl, mana pearl, mana pearl. Boom, got mana pearl. Okay, so let's do that and do that, and we should be able to get some pixie dust and some other stuff, some some elementium. So you go in there like that, hooray. Ha ha. I love it, this is great. Okay, so now to, to do this, we need to make ourselves a, uh, we need to make a new catalyst, uh, and that is gonna be the, what is it? The conjuration catalyst. Um, so I'm going to do that. Uh, I'll do that in between episodes today because sadly we are running out of time today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I certainly did enjoy bringing it to you. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe. The likes and the subscriptions help me out oh so immensely when it comes to those YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot, and you guys have been great about this, is comments. So make sure you leave your comments down down below in the in the comment section. Your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the worlds were you thinking? Um, I've gotten all of those, and uh, and I got to tell you, it has made me have a much more enjoyable experience knowing that you guys are out there and you have my back. So, again, thanks again for watching in the uh, in the off period. I'm going to work on getting something set up so that we can double coal, and uh, and we should be able to feed these endo flames infinite amounts of coal to produce infinite amounts of mana so anyway thanks so much for watching uh the other thing i'm going to do while i'm while i'm out there is i'm going to see if i can find a jungle so we can get some watermelon that way if we can get some watermelon we can make those rooms of summer and we can do some stuff with that too so anyway thanks again for watching and until next time we will catch you on the flip side we'll see you later bye bye <laughs>